The news starts now. AM 1240 and 95.3 FM. WJON. Good morning. I'm Jim Maurice. It's 9.05 and we're at 67 this morning. Your WJON weather I forecast coming up in a few minutes after the news. News this hour brought to you by St. Cloud Orthopedics. A Painesville woman hurt in a two-vehicle crash in Meeker County this morning. Happened just after 6 in Litchfield. State Patrol says 29-year-old Gina Coakley was driving south on South Davis Avenue when her minivan collided with an SUV going westbound on Highway 12. Coakley taken to Litchfield Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. State Patrol has not released any information on the driver of the SUV. One person hurt in a single vehicle crash in Wright County. State Patrol says the incident happened about uh, 3 yesterday afternoon on Interstate 94 in St. Michael. 22-year-old Connor Roberts of Big Lake uh, traveling east when her vehicle left the road, struck a bridge, and rolled. Roberts taken to Hennepin County Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. Troopers say alcohol may have been a factor in the crash. Minnesota has its first confirmed case of HPAI, or bird flu, in a dairy herd in Benton County. The Minnesota Board of Animal Health is reminding farmers to take biosecurity measures to keep their animals safe. BAH spokesperson Michael Cruson says biosecurity measures can be as simple as... Keeping their boots clean, using different footwear when going into the barn, having what's called a line of separation or a clean and dirty line so that they're not bringing potential germs from the outside world into those areas where their animals are kept. Crusan advocates uh, dairy farmers monitor their herds and contact their veterinarian immediately if cows appear to be sick. HPAI symptoms in dairy mostly affect uh, late-stage lactating cows and include uh, fever, a drop in milk production, loss of appetite, and changes in manure consistency. The Neighborhood Development Center has launched its first round of Minnesota Promise Act grant application acceptance and funding to help disadvantaged businesses reach their full potential. CEO Renee Dossman says she's honored to help uh, give back uh, to entrepreneurs who have been severely impacted by the police murder of George Floyd or the COVID-19 pandemic. We're getting into those neighborhoods, into those communities that might miss out on opportunities. Dossman says to qualify, businesses must be active Minnesota-based enterprises generate $750,000 or less in revenue, operate within areas of St. Paul and Minneapolis, and provide two years' worth of state and federal taxes. Applications and more information can be found on the Minnesota Promise Act website. Kelly Morrison, a Democrat from Deep Haven in the West Metro, announced uh, late yesterday she's resigning from the Minnesota Senate to focus full-time on her campaign for the 3rd District U.S. House seat, currently held by Dean Phillips, who's not running for re-election after an unsuccessful bid for the Democratic presidential nomination. Morrison stepping down means until there's a special election on the same day as the November general election, the state Senate is now tied at 33 Democrats, 33 Republicans. But it is not expected the Minnesota legislature will be back in session until next January, unless some unusual circumstance prompts Governor Tim Walz to call a special session. Analysts say Republicans will target Morrison's seat in an attempt to take control of the state Senate this fall, although Democrats won that district by 13% in 2022. Bill Werner reporting. Meanwhile, Republicans and even some top Democrats have called for the resignation of Woodbury Democratic Senator Nicole Mitchell, who char is charged with burglarizing her stepmother's home in Detroit Lakes. Mitchell's attorney said uh, last week that she still does not intend to resign and that her, until her criminal case is fully and finally adjudicated, Mitchell will continue to serve her constituents as a fully elected state senator. WJON News Time is 9.09. It's sunny and 67. News this hour brought to you by St. Cloud Orthopedics. Your WJON weather I forecast is on the way next. Fun. For St. Cloud and for Sauk Rapids, Partly cloudy and 75 today. Wind out of the northwest at 5 to 10. There's a 75% chance we're going to see some showers again tonight. Maybe about a quarter of an inch. So not a widespread thing, but 54 for an overnight low with wind northwest at 5. Tomorrow becoming partly cloudy and 74 for a high. Wind northwest at 5 to 10. Our extended forecast on Sunday, a uh, mainly clear sky and 73 on Sunday. Uh, Monday, mainly a clear sky. It's going to be 74 for a high on Monday. Looks like a very nice day on Monday again. And then Tuesday, maybe some scattered storms in 74. WJON News Time coming up on 9-11, and it's 67 right now.
For more St. Cloud area news, sports, and weather, download our free WJON app on your smartphone or your tablet. Jim Maurice, WJON. All right, Jim, what's coming up in the News at Noon program today? We're going to hear from the uh, Women's Fund. Of course, they're putting on Dancing with Our Stars. We'll learn more about them, not only with that event, but who they are. What is their organization all about? We'll have that conversation with them during the noon show today. Okay, how about 930? Check out the State Park for free tomorrow. We'll tell you about that at the bottom of the hour. All right, Jim, thank you. It's 911 and we're at 66 degrees. Next on WJON, it's our Question of the Week program. Today is National Donut Day, so there really isn't songs with donuts in the title, but... There are plenty of songs that have sweet or sugar in the title. So name a song that has sweet or sugar in the title. Call, email, comment on Facebook. We'll get to answers next. For the ones who know safety isn't a catchphrase, it's a culture. And the ones who help make sure everyone makes it home safe. For the safety-minded who watch everyone's backs, Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as safety assessments and training to keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.